today I wanted to see if I could create um, a straight stitch plate from a zigzag plate. I believe this should work fine, but we're going to try it together. So here I have a spare zigzag plate from a Husqvarna Viking 960. They all take kind of the same plate. But you can't get a straight stitch plate for them. So I thought, okay, what's the solution? So my proposal is, we need some tape of some sort, painter's tape, invisible tape. In this case, I'm going to use metal tape because what my thought is that will look quite nice and once I use once I create the filler this will stick to it so it'll be shiny on top and I think that will look quite good what we're using is this JB Weld stuff any sort of um, solid glue you could probably even use um, heat or um, heat glue, okay, brain fail here, this stuff, where it's a hot gun glue, that's the word. So you could probably use that too without any problem. Probably be very quick too, you wouldn't have to wait 48 hours, so maybe we'll, we could do that too. But either way, what you'll need is some tape, and the idea is you want a smooth surface on top. So by using the tape, it will create a smooth surface. So you only need a tiny little bit of tape just to cover that one little hole. So I'll create this as small as possible. This is where the, the simple invisible tape would probably work very well as well. Um, just make sure, of course, that you, when you do this and you use it to sew, that you make sure your needle's in the right place. If you punch a hole in it, well, you punch a hole in it, you can always fix it. It's not the end of the world, so there, I've put the tape in. I can remove the excess after, it doesn't really matter. Tiniest little bit of tape. And then, we have to fill in the hole from this side. But, remember, you need to put some sort of... Here I'm using a cute, or a toothpick, to create the hole, and the, the adhesive will go around it. So now what I will do is I will mix the JB Weld here, just need a sheet of paper is fine. This is the type where you mix two parts together and then that creates it. You don't need much at all of this stuff. Um, so we are. And once you start mixing together, the chemical happens. Now this stuff takes about 48 hours to become hard. And so we will stir this till it becomes grey or silvery, I think we'll say from black to become silvery. Then you're kind of in a it's mixed and then you can scoop it into the hole. So this is where it's a little messy. Um, I might use so I put this in here, fill in the hole. See if I did this. You could drill the hole out after, I suppose. That would work fine as well. So all of any excess can be scraped off. That's really not an issue. So I will scrape the excess off now. And even after you can scrape the remainder. So that's not perfectly flat. It doesn't need to be per se. It's not the end of the world. I will put some a little bit of extra tape over it, but I just want to fill in that as best we can. Scrape off the excess. A little messy at the moment, however. The important bit comes now where we have to put the hole back in. So I've already pierced the hole, so that will just sit there fine. If I spin this around a bit, I think it will just sit there. Oop, okay, so now now that should just solidify for the next 24 hours. So I'll just remove any excess here for fun.
I could use any, I might get a paper towel. This standard paper will work as well. Just to clean off any excess. And that's fine. So that just has to sit now for 24 hours overnight. So by tomorrow afternoon, I will be in a position to take a look and see where we've landed. And then I'll put the silver tape over top of this side if I feel the need, just for good effect. And that's done and ready to go. So I'll just let that solidify. This I'll wrap up so it's tidy. Bit on my hands, so I'll wash that off after. But that's it. That should allow me to have a straight stitch plate. So, for instance, the Singer 237, which doesn't have it, and a lot of the modern machines, which don't have a straight stitch plate. This is probably a good op option to solve the problem. So we will feed back to you of how that works out. Bye for now. Here we are the day after, and you can see the aluminium tape is a bit shiny. Um, it's reasonably smooth, not perfectly beautiful, however most serviceable. And on the back, I could clean all that off, but I'm not really bothered. You'll see it's exactly the same, just very uniform. Here's a nice needle. As you can see, plenty of space in the middle. So it's a good fit. Will sew perfectly. And yes, I could do a video to show you using a straight stitch plate, but I'm sure you get the idea. The needle, peer needle goes through there clearly. It's in the center, and it looks like a straight stitch plate. So I do believe we have a success. I hope you found that interesting.